There's a lot of hype around this guy, so is he underachieving or is he overpaid or is he overhyped? Which one is it? Mike, to me, dollar for dollar, he is not giving them the return on investment that they probably wanted. From the standpoint of the statistics, it's telling that Gabe Kapler, which I think is great from his standpoint, is talking about the intangibles of a player who should be giving them all of the tangibles. Mm -hmm. You think about where he ranks right now, Mike, in terms of wins above replacement, which admittedly is not going to tell us everything, but 56th, 56th among MLB players this year. Last year, mm. 46th. Mm. So he's in the same general range. He is, to borrow the phrase, who they thought he was from the standpoint of the, the, the numbers, okay? This is basically the, who he's been, Rob, the last couple of years. So for the Phillies, and I respect what he's done off the field, the, the star attraction, mm -hmm. but he's going to have to put up better numbers, Rob, for the Phillies to feel like anything close to it at the end of those 13 years that they've gotten what they paid for. We're basically at the halfway point of the season. With 55 RBIs, he's on pace for 110, which would be 10 more than his career high. So the, the RBIs are there, and he's on pace for 30 home runs, which wouldn't be like Bryce Harper can hit more than that. Is he underachieving? Yes, he is with his batting average and some other things. But don't make no mistake about it. He is a star of baseball, the face of baseball. He's the guy that moves the needle. There aren't players who can move the needle. When they signed him, they sold 100,000 tickets in 24 hours. His jersey sold more jerseys than LeBron James' Laker jersey when he came to L.A. I mean, there aren't many guys who can do that. Can he play better? Absolutely. But he is not overpaid, and he is not overhyped. Bryce Harper is that guy. 110 RBI. He's never hit that in a season. That's right. kind of telling in itself, to be quite honest with right. you. Right, it yeah. is. And, and, Rob, to your point, yes, there's a lot of appeal with him. Fans want to come up and, and watch him play. However, and, and even boo him, yes, which is a well, good which, thing. Which is fair, but eventually that's going to go away. They're going to have to win. One championship, at least that, probably more. For them to keep coming, there, there's novelty at the beginning, Rob, but they have to win. He has to produce for that to happen. There's no doubt about and, it, but the other thing is, let's be fair, he's 26 years sure. old. When is your prime in Major League Baseball? He's entering more, it right now. Right, it's just getting there. He still has time. There, there's no way I can look at him and think he can't get there by right. age 30 and be the guy that everybody thought he would be. And Rob, to your point, you're absolutely right about his profile in the game and how he has gotten there by being a bit contrarian, playing with an edge. He says and does things that not a lot of other players do right now. And I hope all the players out there at this All-Star game and everywhere else in the game are watching this because there is money to be made in being interesting. Mm. At his press conference when they announced his deal, 13-year contract, there was an easel there with an old cover of Sports Illustrated and Tom Verducci's story, the cover story, from 10 years ago. He got that contract in large part because he's famous, and God bless him for it. But at some point in time, the, the numbers, Rob, to your point, they're going to have to get better and be true superstar MVP numbers once again. But do you get paid 13 years, $330 million for popularity or for the way you play? It's Is, he Is he overhyped? Is he overhyped? Clown question. It's a combination. <laughs>